Good morning, good morning, kingdom. I love you, my brothers and sisters. Today, I want to read to you Colossians chapter 3, starting at verse 1 and going to verse 4. And the reason is wise. If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sit on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above and not on things on earth. For you are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. Where Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. The word is already blessed. So with that being said, my brothers and sisters, I love you. Let's go to the throne of grace. The true and living God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the 12 tribes of Israel. We come in the spirit of one new man, asking that you help us today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For there is an old saying, heavily minded, no earthly good. But we read scripture. But we live now in a time where heaven is trying to invade earth. And I'm not talking about in a good and righteous way, but evil is plaguing the land, and the land is getting unholy daily. People are turning their backs upon the one who saves all, and that is Jesus Christ. Households are being ripped apart by much separation, especially here in Mystery Babylon. Times are changing as rapid as we wake up. Rapidly, we are going back to sleep so that the time is moving fast. Confusion upon this land that we don't know our spiritual responsibilities like we should know. Evil is taking over and we act as if everything is okay. We need today a heavenly minded attitude in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For many of us have not lost the flavor of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For it is near our hearts, it's confessions out of our mouth. It is proclamation of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and our declaration that Jesus Christ lives and every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, so that we can be heavenly minded and earthly good, for we are the salt of the earth and we refuse to lose our flavor. Our mind is deeply enriching in the heavenly things that we can call heaven on earth. We don't need to focus on worldly things when we know that we have the power of the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us into all spirit and all truth, that we know the heart and mind of you, mighty one of Israel. Our words are seasoned with the heavenly melody of the heavens, that when we speak, we can change the surroundings around us. We can shield those of our household and those who's connected to us when we say the name of Jesus Christ. We walk in the pure authority that you've given to Christ Jesus, for it is in his name that we come to you asking you to loose the holy power upon your children today. Refresh us in the Holy Spirit. Refuel us in the spiritual power that is granted to us. For Jesus Christ even say, they that believe shall do greater works than me because Christ said he goes to the Father. I believe in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe in the death. I believe in the burial. I believe in the resurrection power. I believe in the almighty hand of you, mighty God. I believe the heavenly mighty works that I'm supposed to do the work to make the land pure and holy again. It is in the name above every name that I come today with a heart of repentance to say, forgive me for leaving my first love, but now I return back to you standing still to see the salvation of the Lord today with power, might, and glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, and amen. I love you, my brothers and sisters. I love you.